What's up YouTube? So I heard Raspberry Pi 5 is coming out so what do we do with our Pi 4 now? In my opinion one of the best things you can do with your Pi is turn it into an Android TV. So why not use the same OS as the Nvidia Shield? Want to learn how? Up next. Welcome back to Kelly Tech. Alright, so I've had quite a few of the Raspberry Pis and you know when the Raspberry Pi 3 got old I set it as a, a gaming system for retro games. Works great. So now that the 5's out I'm probably gonna retire the 4 like you know give it a forever use. So I'm gonna turn this into an Android TV system and leave it be because it runs really good. Like the Pi 4 if you overclock it and do everything correctly it runs really well. Like, there's usually problems with most OS's that you put on the Pi, but this OS is up to par, so let's jump into it. Open up a web browser. I will leave the links for all of these downloads in the description below. So first off, we're going to get the Raspberry Pi Imager. Click here, and it's downloading. Let's go over to Lineage for Android TV. And we're going to want this one right here. And click here to get a server. Pick the closest one. And it's downloading. So let's check out the last download, which is called Mind the Gaps. G Apps. So basically it's Google Apps. And you download right here. All right, so looks like everything's completed. Let's go ahead and shrink it down. Open up a folder. Downloads. And let's grab the last three things that we downloaded. And drag them onto the desktop just to make things easy. All right, so first off, we need to extract the lineage OS to the desktop. All right, so now let's install the Pi Imager. Make sure this is checked, hit finish. All right, so before we go any further, let's plug our SD card into the PC. So first, choose OS. We're going to want to use the image that we just extracted to our desktop. So hit Use Custom. And right here, Lineage 20. Open. And we want to choose the SD card we just inserted, which is right here for me, 32 gig. And then we're going to hit Write. Make sure you have picked the correct drive. And this is going to take a minute. All right, looks like it's finally complete. So make sure and do not format anything. Just X everything out. X's and right here has been written to your drive. You can now remove the SD card from the reader. So we're done with this program. You can pull out your SD card. So your SD card is prepped and ready to go. But before we do that, you need a USB drive of some sort because we need to transfer the program that we downloaded, Mind the Gaps, over to the drive. So insert a USB drive. And I'm just going to drag Mind the Gaps. Okay, so we're done here. Eject the drive. 
and your USB drive is all set. All right, so next we need to expand the SD card. We put an OS on there, but a lot of that card didn't get used. So depending on how big your card is, is how much more room you'll have. So let's expand that drive to get all the room we can. So let's head on over to the Pi to do that. All right, so the reason that we're over at the Pi is because it has a specific piece of software that I like called Gparted. So to use that software, let's insert our SD card into the Pi. So we can just close all these down. Alright, so let's open up that software I was talking about under System Tools and Gparted. Very easy piece of software to use. So let's make sure, find the correct drive first. And I have two drives and I know that mine's a 32 gig, so this must be it. So first we have to right click and unmount. Then right click and resize and take up all the space we can and hit resize move so now it's 27.4 gigs a lot better let's go ahead and hit the check and apply nice and quick all operations successfully completed we can close that down and there's our new drive expanded and ready for use so let's shut down the Pi and reboot the Pi with the SD card installed All right, so I have the SD card installed to the Pi and I'm booting it up right now. All right, seeing some signs of life. All right, so it's looking for a Bluetooth device. Um, if you don't have a Bluetooth device, just wait it out. It'll quit searching. Welcome to Lineage. All right. Start. Accept. And English United States. Connect to your Wi-Fi. Enter your password. connected and it's asking you to send information to them to help out and start so there we have it now this is simple raw no programs installed but it's pretty simple to get going all right so First things first, let's jump over to settings. And let's go to system. And buttons. Tick that. Hit the back button. Now let's go all the way down to the bottom and go to restart and go to recovery all right so boot it up remember that usb drive we put mine the gaps on we need to insert that usb drive into the pi all right once installed 
let's go over to install and want to pick the storage and make sure you select the correct storage device mine is the USB drive and here is the program mine the gaps and you're gonna wanna just grab this and swipe over alright first off let's go to back I wouldn't reboot just yet and back one more time and we're gonna go to wipe so just grab and pull it over and now we can reboot the system And here we go. All right, so let's go to uh, Google Play. I guess we just go to apps. And here's Google Play. And we should update. Looks like we have seven updates pending. And it's all for our G apps. So let's update all. All right, updates are completed, so let's back on out of here. And let's go back into settings. Go down to system. Go down to Raspberry Pi settings. HDMI zero for me. Display looks good. I'm going to overclock mine. Do as you wish. Put it on performance. Make sure and have good cooling if you're going to overclock. Okay, so back out. Now we're going to go to restart. All right, so this looks more like what you're used to seeing, probably. But it just shows you, you know, what you got. Live, shop, and this looks a lot more like what you're used to. And it runs pretty good, too. It runs pretty smooth once you got it overclocked. And you can set this up with all the apps you like. It has the live TV function. I mean, there's a lot to this. Very nice. So you can set this up just like you would a Mi Box. NVIDIA Shield or any other Android box with Android TV installed on it. And this is just stock. No apps are on here, of course, but there's a Play Store to put whatever you desire on here. Now, there are a couple limits. Um, I think Netflix is one of them. Uh, but some apps don't want to work on here because of Mac address issues or something like that. So, 
I hope you guys like this one. This one was pretty cool. I use this daily, and it's this is what I watch TV on. I go to the live tab, and I watch some of the older shows. So I hope you guys enjoy this as much as I do. I hope you get some use out of this. If you did, like and subscribe. And as always, have a tech day.